Did you know that in a recent global survey, some countries have surprisingly negative opinions of Americans? Let's explore why. Today, we'll peel back the layers on this delicate topic, aiming to understand without casting judgment. Stay tuned as we dive into the reasons behind these opinions. Starting with France, the land of art and romance. Ah, France, a country synonymous with exquisite cuisine, groundbreaking art, and revolutionary history. But despite the allure, there's a layer of historical grievances and cultural clashes that paint a complex picture of Franco-American relations. Historically, France and the United States have been allies, yet there have been notable tensions. Think back to the Iraq War in the early 2000s when France's opposition led to a temporary renaming of French fries in some American eateries to Freedom Fries. This symbolic gesture underscored deeper political disagreements and a mutual perception of arrogance. Culturally, the French often pride themselves on their rich linguistic and gastronomic traditions, which can sometimes be perceived as snobbery by visitors. Americans, known for their informal and direct approach, might find the French formalism puzzling or off-putting, leading to a sense of mutual misunderstanding. It's a relationship as nuanced as a fine Bordeaux wine, complex, sometimes bitter, but undeniably rich in history. Next, we travel east from France to a completely different landscape. Now, let's explore the perspectives from Iran. In the heart of the Middle East, Iran's complex relationship with the United States is a tapestry woven through decades of political turmoil and conflict. The roots of this frosty relationship can be traced back to the Iranian Revolution in 1979, an event that dramatically shifted Iran's policy from pro-Western to a strictly anti-Western stance. This was a turning point where the U.S. Embassy was seized and American diplomats were held hostage, casting a long shadow on bilateral relations. The tension thickened with issues like nuclear program disputes and sanctions, which have deeply impacted the Iranian economy and shaped public perception. These economic sanctions, often perceived as a direct attack on the livelihood of ordinary Iranians, have brewed a strong sentiment of distrust and resentment towards American policies. Today, despite the global push for diplomacy, the echoes of past conflicts continue to influence how Iranians view American foreign policy and, by extension, Americans themselves. Moving on, our next stop has a cold climate but equally chilly opinions of Americans. In Russia, the frost isn't just in the air. The chilly relations between Russia and the United States have been sculpted by a complex tapestry of historical conflicts, political policies, and intense propaganda. The roots of this frosty feeling can be traced back to the Cold War era, where the two giants stood on opposite sides of the global stage, often coming to the brink of direct confrontation. Over the decades, numerous political policies have kept the temperature low, from disagreements on global security issues to clashing interests in regions like the Middle East and Eastern Europe, each incident adds another layer of ice to the relations. Moreover, the role of media cannot be understated. In Russia, state-controlled media often portrays the United States in a starkly negative light, influencing public perception significantly. This media portrayal is a powerful tool in shaping the narrative and sowing a seed of deep-rooted skepticism among the Russian populace. Jetting off to our next destination, we find a surprising entry in Central America. In Venezuela, the political climate affects opinions too. The relationship between Venezuela and the United States is complicated, to say the least. Over the years, American foreign policy and economic sanctions have left a significant imprint on how Venezuelans view the United States. Many Venezuelans feel the weight of economic sanctions imposed by the U.S., which are often seen as attempts to influence political outcomes in their country. These sanctions have been blamed for exacerbating economic struggles, leading to shortages of essential goods and an increase in daily hardships for the average citizen. The narrative in Venezuela often paints the U.S. as an imperialistic force meddling in national affairs. This portrayal can be found in media outlets and political discourse, which further shapes public perception. It's not uncommon to hear discussions about the U.S. involvement in political and economic spheres, which stirs a mix of resentment and skepticism among the populace. Understanding this context is crucial to grasp why feelings toward Americans might be strained. Crossing the Atlantic, our next country offers a unique perspective. Turkey stands at the crossroads of continents and opinions. This nation, straddling Europe and Asia, has a complex relationship with the United States, 
shaped by decades of military alliances and cultural exchanges. The partnership through NATO has seen Turkey and the U.S. collaborate on various strategic initiatives, yet this alignment often contrasts sharply with the Turkish public's perception of American policies. Cultural misunderstandings further complicate these views. The American lifestyle and foreign policy decisions sometimes clash with traditional Turkish values and regional diplomatic priorities. For instance, issues like the handling of conflicts in neighboring regions have sparked significant debate on American influence and intentions. Moreover, recent political shifts and internal developments within Turkey have led to a re-evaluation of its international relationships, including with the United States. This evolving dynamic is watched closely by both nations, as it could significantly impact their future interactions on the global stage, heading to a small but significant country next. In Pakistan, views on Americans are influenced by more than just politics. The relationship between the two countries has been a complex tapestry woven with threads of military collaborations and frictions. One of the major points of contention has been the U.S. drone strikes in the region, perceived by many locals as a breach of sovereignty and a cause of civilian casualties. These strikes have left a deep imprint on the Pakistani psyche, fostering a sense of mistrust and resentment towards American policies. Moreover, the presence of American military operations in Pakistan, particularly during the hunt for militants, has often been viewed as a double-edged sword. While these operations aim at dismantling terrorism, they also bring about disruptions and a palpable tension among the local populations. Cultural clashes further color the perception, as traditional Pakistani values often find themselves at odds with Western lifestyles and policies, perceived as overly intrusive or disrespectful flying to a neighboring country with its own unique stance. China's economic rise brings a competitive stance towards the U.S. The Dragon of the East, as it is often metaphorically called, and the Eagle from the West, find themselves frequently locked in a dance of both cooperation and contention. At the heart of this complex relationship are the trade issues that have sparked numerous debates. From tariffs to technology bans, these economic battles often lead to a general sense of rivalry. But it's not just about economics. Politically, the two giants hold different visions for the future, influencing global politics and regional dynamics. This divergence is evident in their approach to governance, human rights, and international diplomacy, often leading to mutual suspicion and cautious engagement. Cultural exchanges, however, offer a glimmer of mutual appreciation and understanding. Educational programs, tourism, and business interactions continue to weave intricate links between the people of both nations, fostering a nuanced landscape of admiration mixed with apprehension. Our next destination is known for its scenic beauty but holds complex views. In Egypt, ancient wonders meet modern opinions. This nation, with its pyramids reaching toward the sky and its roots deeply embedded in the earliest civilizations, also harbors complex views on global interactions, particularly with the United States. The heart of these views often pulses around the U.S. foreign policy in the Middle East, especially its stance on Israel and Palestine. Egyptians, like many around the world, watch closely as international policies unfold, affecting not just political landscapes but also people's everyday lives. The U.S. significant financial and military support for Israel has stirred a spectrum of reactions among the Egyptian public. These reactions range from cautious disapproval to outright dissatisfaction, reflecting a broader regional unease about the balance of power and peace prospects in the Middle East. Understanding these perspectives requires a deep dive into the intricacies of diplomacy, historical conflicts, and the aspirations of the people themselves, who are as diverse as the sands of the Sahara, heading to our final country, which might surprise you. Germany, an ally, yet not without its criticisms. In recent years, political disagreements between Germany and the United States have surfaced, particularly concerning global security and environmental policies. Germany has been vocal about its stance on climate change, urging for more robust action than the U.S. has been willing to commit to. This divergence in approach has led to some friction, as Germany looks to lead by example in renewable energy and sustainability. Economic policies also add layers to the complex relationship. Germany's push for fair trade and its regulations on digital privacy contrast with American approaches, which often prioritize free market principles. These differences sometimes result in a tug-of-war over regulations that affect multinational corporations operating across both territories. Moreover, the shadows of wartime history still linger in the collective memory of both nations. 
While decades have passed since World War II, the events of that era continue to influence perceptions and interactions to this day. As we conclude our tour, let's reflect on what we've discovered. We've traveled across continents exploring why some countries have less than favorable views of Americans. From the cafes of Paris to the bustling streets of Tehran, each location offered unique insights into the complex web of international sentiments. In France, cultural arrogance and political disagreements have brewed a subtle distaste. Moving east to Iran, historical conflicts and political sanctions have deepened the divide. Russia's narrative is shaped by geopolitical rivalry and historical tensions, meanwhile Venezuela's discontent stems from economic sanctions and political interventions. Turkey and Pakistan both share a blend of political and military alliances that occasionally strain relations. Over in East Asia, China's growing global influence contrasts sharply with American foreign policies. Egypt's perspective is influenced by foreign policy and cultural misunderstandings while Germany holds a critical view shaped by both historical events and current policies. Understanding these perspectives can lead to better global interactions. Think globally, act kindly. Thanks for joining us on this enlightening journey.